Rishi needs to accept the reality that the stars are already saying that he and Jen are never going to be together. Ouch! Rishi's friend Nitesh is kicking him whilst he's down. But the truth is, Rishi needs some tough love. Frankly, he never learns. Just take the tell-all, for example. Rishi, you need to tell them. Okay, but do it. No, no. Answer. Tell them right now. Come on. Tell them. Go, go. But me. It feels like history is repeating itself, doesn't it? But before we jump in, let's catch up with the pair after Jen was left with no option but to end things with Rishi last week. Rishi's game of pretending that this relationship would magically work has finally caught up with him, and it looks like he's gone to the temple to seek some wisdom and guidance on what to do next. I'm heartbroken. I don't know what to do. I'm still not ready to accept it that we are broken up. Rishi has been stupid in every step of the way in how he navigated telling his family. But I will give him this. He does look incredibly heartbroken. He's saying he's not ready to accept this loss. But all we've seen so far is Rishi roll over immediately to his family's expectations and not fight for someone that he supposedly loves. Rishi's feeling lost, and he catches up with his astrologer friend to fill him in on what's been happening. But within seconds, he immediately proves that he's learnt nothing at all. He's in Hindi, he's in the translator. And the translator said to him in Hindi, Aunty. Yes, the main thing is that if the translator is not, then I would do makeup too. Uh, Rishi, I don't think that's the lesson that you should be taking away. The fact that Rishi still hasn't learned that it's his lying that's got him in this position speaks volumes about his maturity. He doesn't seem to understand that it's his behaviour that pushed Jen to do what she did. So here he is, openly admitting that if he could redo the situation all over again, he would have just lied more. Interestingly, however, while we know that Rishi claims he's not ready to give up, his friend Nitesh urges him to do precisely that. Nitesh doesn't believe that this relationship is worth fighting for. It's doomed in his eyes. I still don't want to give up that place. Rishi needs to accept the reality that the stars are already saying that he and Jen are never going to be together. Astrologer Nitesh is coming out of the woodwork saying he never really fully revealed to Rishi just how dire his situation was. While Nitesh told him that it would be tough, what the stars were really saying was Jen and Rishi should not be together. Now, I'm not disregarding astrology, but it is very convenient for Nitesh to only reveal that tidbit now, after the breakup has happened, isn't it? He says he was trying to be a good friend by giving Rishi hope, but I'm skeptical that he was just covering his back. अब तू बहुत प्यार करता है तो वो फाइट मारनी तू मारते रहे और इसीलिए हम सब प्यार करते थे इसीलिए अपन वो फाइट मारे थे कि यार नितेश might be right that Jen and I aren't mean to be together. There's the fighting spirit we expect from Rishi. The fighting spirit where he gives up before he even tries. I'm being a little harsh, and I know it must feel like the world is against him right now. What with the fact that Jen's left him, returned her ring, and now his best friend and his family completely disapprove of his relationship. But if Rishi were to ever prove that he's the man that Jen's always dreamed of, the one who'd knock down mountains to be with her, then this is precisely the moment to do so. But I believe in love more than uh, astrology. I'm not ready to give up. I'll fight for us. Yes, Rishi, go get your girl. It's a shame you didn't come to this conclusion before Jen dumped you. But it is very in character. Rishi's always just taken Jen for granted. He's always assumed that she'll just stick around indefinitely until he's ready to do things in his own time. So, naturally, it makes sense that Rishi's brain only clicked into gear after he realised he'd lost her. But how's Jen doing after the breakup? It's been about a week since Rishi and I broke up. Rishi has not been taking our breakup well. In fact, I'm not sure he understands that it's really over. Jen is on her way to meet Rishi to make sure that he truly understands that she's done with this relationship. Because from the sounds of it, Rishi has continued messaging her like nothing's happened. 
that is another classic Rishi move. Just pretending that problems don't exist in order to make them magically go away. Now, Jen is in autopilot mode at the moment. She's not allowing herself to feel the full extent of her emotions just yet. I know I'm not like allowing myself to feel too much emotion right now. Probably will be a wreck about this in about a week, but right now it's just like I'm in survival mode. So if Jen hasn't processed her feelings and mourned this relationship yet, and if Rishi's now willing to fight for her, maybe there's a slim chance here that the pair might be willing to give this relationship one last go. Now, I'm not sure that Rishi is capable of making any of the drastic changes he needs to make in order for this to work. But if there's one thing we know about Jen, it's that she's always willing to see the world through rose-tinted glasses. I need to move on and you need to move on. And I decided that I'm gonna go back to the United States. Wow, those rose-tinted glasses are no more. Rishi has well and truly smashed them. The Jen we see today is just so different from the Jen that we saw at the start of the season. That Jen was naive, yes, but also she was excited at the possibility of starting a life with the man she believed was her soulmate. Now she's less of a romantic, much more hardened by over a year of disappointment that Rishi has put her through. But maybe that's for the best. Hopefully this is an experience she'll be able to take with her to future relationships. Hopefully she'll be able to draw clear, firm boundaries and not put up with liars. This is the last time we're going to see each other. At this point, like, it's the best thing for both of us. Jen is absolutely right. There's nothing keeping her in India anymore. She's not prepared to wait around aimlessly for Rishi. She's had enough of that. She needs to just go back to the States and move on with her life. Maybe with time, she'll be able to find someone better suited to her. Now, I will say it's brutal watching Jen pretty much break up with Rishi a second time. But if she wasn't sure he got the message last time, well, this time there's no ambiguity. It's crystal clear. I want to say, don't go, don't leave me. But uh, for me, it's like uh, really hard to say or express anything right now. This is your chance, Rishi. Come on, man up. Tell her you're not going to let her go. Tell her you're ready to fight for her. Be the hero she wants you to be. Swoop in and save this relationship if it means so much to you. No? Surprise, surprise, Rishi can't do that because he can't go against his family. That's been the case since day one. In fact, that was the case before he even started a relationship with Jen, before he proposed to her. But they were both living in a fantasy. I wanted to think that it could work and I guess I felt like if I tried hard enough that I could make it work. It's so clear that Jen has put a lot of the weight of the relationship on herself. She's the one that had to try harder. She's the one that had to move to India. She's the one that needed to integrate with Rishi's family. But the question is, when is Rishi going to be held accountable? He could and should have done so much more. Yet even now, as the woman he claims to be the love of his life slips through his fingers, all he's doing is what he does best, making empty promises. I'm not losing the hope here and uh, I'll fight for a relationship still. Sorry, but your moment has passed, Rishi. What's the point in saying all of this after the fact? Jen dumped you and told you that she never wanted to see you again. She told you it was for the best. It was what you both needed. Your response? You just looked at her sadly as she walked out of your life forever. And only now, after she's left, are you vowing to fight for your relationship. So let's see if he actually made good on that promise to fight in the tell-all. Because despite what she said, it turns out that the pair have still stayed in touch after filming. Have you been in contact at all? We've talked a little. Ah, okay. <laughs> Can't wait to find out what those conversations are about. Okay, let's make some predictions. I think that Jen went back to the States, then remembered that life gets lonely when you're single. Meanwhile, I think Rishi probably kept messaging her. He kept telling her all the things she wanted to hear, because we know he does that well. 
then I suspect she finally caved in. I think these two are going to try and make it work again. Now, that's all just a prediction for now. It looks like we're going to have to wait until the next Tell All episode to find out for sure how far they've come from their breakup. But from the looks of it, it seems like nothing's changed all that much. Rishi, you need to tell them. OK, but do uh, it. No, no. tell them right now. Deja vu, anyone? Rishi's still hiding something, and once again, Jen is left with no option other than to throw him under the bus. I can't say I'm surprised, but it will be interesting to see what exactly he's lying about this time.